This episode is all about how, how do we get our Figma designs into After Effects. And there's a couple of ways of doing this. Um, and I'm going to show you two ways. The first one is that we're going to use a plugin um, which will directly send our file into After Effects. And the second way is we're just going to recreate it in After Effects. Um, because the plugin is still in development. It doesn't work for everything. It does work for this example, but it doesn't work for everything. So I'm going to show you how you can recreate things in After Effects as well. So first of all, we need to get a plugin called AEUX. And if we go to aeux.io, you will come to this site um, and you'll want to go up to download. And you'll want to download the latest version for Figma. And I won't go through the installation steps today, but if you go over to install, you can learn how to install it for After Effects because you'll need to install it on After Effects, but you'll also need to install it in Figma. And this guide isn't the best um, because they're assuming you can Google how to do it, but I think if you're offering a plugin, you should be explaining how to do it anyway. So they do below have this for non-Googlers to show you how to do it. So essentially you just copy copy the file and install it like so. So I recommend you do that. But before you can do that, you have to have After Effects. Um, and After Effects is a premium software, which means it's paid for. But Adobe do have a uh, trial period. So if you just want to try it for this series, I'd highly recommend just downloading the trial. Um, and you can get it by going to adobe.com and if we look down here, it's not in their featured products, so we probably have to go view all creative products. Um, I'm in the UK, so I'm just going to click that one. And if we scroll down, we can see After Effects here. So I've, I've got a account which allows me to download every single uh, application Adobe offer. This will look slightly different for you if you are uh, just downloading the trial. Okay. So once you've got After Effects installed, you can open it up and it will look something like this. Um, so, and once you've installed your extension, you will see AEUX here as well. And later we're going to be adding Lottie files as well. But for now, you will probably only see this one once you've followed the guide here on how to install for After Effects. Uh, by the way, this plugin is completely free. So let's head back into Figma. So we're in Figma. We've got our file here, um, which I'm going to just rename a few bits. So in the last video, we named it Liquid Toggle, and then we named the toggle handle and the toggle background, but we didn't name the frame it's sitting in. So I'm just going to name this Liquid Toggle as well. Um, and I know that's duplicated, but you'll see why shortly. And then when we right click, we go down to plugins as you normally would. You see we've got loads of plugins up here, um, but we don't see that AEUX one. And that's because it's still in development. So it's in this development down here. Um, and if we open that up, we'll see it's here. So what we want to do is literally select what we want to send. In this case, this entire frame and we want to send the selection to, to After Effects. Now, do note that it won't send any of the animation over. We're going to be using this as a guideline to what we're going to create in After Effects. So if we do that, send selection over, you can see it's, it's now in After Effects. Um, and if I scroll the timeline, we can see there's no animation with it. Okay, so, Let's have a, just a quick look at our After Effects screen. So this is our composition. This is what we're currently working on. Um, over here is our project folders and files. So in here, we've got the AEUX folder. We've then got Liquid Toggle, which is what we named it. And inside there, we have got um, our comps. And these are what's being created. So we've got our Liquid Toggle comp open here, and we can see that it's actually got another liquid toggle too here. So I'm just going to delete all of that to show you how these names actually come through. 
Okay, so I'm going to rename this liquid toggle frame and then leave that liquid toggle. So essentially, this plugin, everything that's a frame will be created into a comp. And a comp is kind of, you can think of a comp as um, a, a, a file in itself. Um, it's a collection of kind of assets and animations inside a uh, inside a group. And then you can bring that group into other groups and you can create um, animations using other animations and things like that. So we're going to send it over again, and this time we'll have a look at the name. So now we've got liquid toggle frame, so we can see that folder has been made, and our comp has also been created. So the folder is, uh, it just takes the name of the frame and creates a folder uh, so that you've got some nice grouping in here. But what's the important bit is we've got the liquid toggle frame, and then we've got the liquid toggle. So if we click inside the liquid toggle, we can actually see those um, assets that we have in Figma. So if I just bring Figma over, we can see we've got our liquid toggle here, and we've got our handle, and we've got our background. And it has nicely colored the different layers for us, which is cool, so that we can start animating. We're not gonna be doing the animating in this video, I'm just showing you how you bring it into After Effects. So the next episode will be about how to animate. Um, so next we're going to actually build this uh, file inside After Effects rather than transferring it from Figma um, so that we can do that. But before we do that, let's just have a look at what happens if we don't have a frame. So I'm just going to duplicate this over. There we go. And I'm going to... Uh, first I'm going to, definitely going to remove the interactions and then I'm going to go back over to design and I want to remove the frame. So I've removed the frame, I've done that by pressing command shift G, but you can also right click and remove the frame. And now I'm going to detach the instance as well. And again, I'm going to remove the frame. So now we have uh, just this and I'm going to group it and call it toggle. So the difference here is it's a group with two items within, whereas before it was a component or a frame within a frame with two items. And we're going to send this one over. So the first thing we notice, layer must be inside a frame. That is because it needs to create a composition um, within After Effects. You can't work outside a composition. You, these are compositions. You always have to be working inside a composition. So it needs a frame. So we can just convert our toggle to a frame. So we can just frame that selection. I'm going to remove that group and rename that toggle. Now we're gonna send that over. So now we see we've got a toggle and we only have one composition this time because the first time we had a frame and then another frame and now we just have one frame. So it's different ways you can do that.